So the first part of our presentation is the fact that um, we look at many x-rays on a daily basis, but do we know what are the main pathology characteristics that we have to look for? Let's say all of us want to do good for our patients, but do we know what are we looking for? Unless there is a radio opacity or something, there is a radio lucency. How do we diagnose those kind of lesions and put them in categories that need or further evaluation, or we know what they are and we treat them, or we watch them and wait till the future time that we can take another uh, radiograph to follow up. So really a very um, case-based uh, and interactive thing. I give everyone time to look at the panels and PAs and cone beams to go through cases that we see on a daily basis. Then um, I thought about soft tissue calcifications. This is one of the main areas that I get a lot of consults. There are so many calcifications that we see on a panel. Some of them have a lot of important significance. Some of them, you just have to know what they are, chart it, and then the patient will go. We are happy, he is happy, that's fine. So a complete review of soft tissue calcifications. And then we'll talk about maxillary sinus, the topic that is involving anatomy, the pathology, acute sinusitis, chronic sinusitis, and everything about sinus that we wanted to know, but uh, we needed some uh, further evaluation on. Sorry, that was my TV. So radiographic appearance of TMJ abnormalities are also very important. Many of us in our practices, especially after COVID, we see many patients that come, they are very uh, uh, uncomfortable with their TMJs. There are changes, but sometimes we don't see them on a panel. We will talk about what to look for and what changes should we uh, see in a cone beam and how we can refer them to get better uh, diagnosis and uh, a complete workup. So this would be a plan for us today, the four hours that we